Welcome back and thank you for staying with Wick and Prime. Human wildlife conflict continues to be a serious concern for people living near parks or forests. Now most communities use fences, but one community in Servo uses a very small insect to the very big problem. Hezron Kimari sheds more light. Take a look. The Taita Mountains is Sagala village which borders the Savo National Park. The village has a very big problem, elephant invasion of farms. The elephants have in the recent past killed three people, injured several others, destroyed properties and crops. Residents here have appealed for government intervention in the human wildlife conflict. The efficacy of fencing in the animals in the park has not been up to task. This has led to one organization coming up with a more natural way of dealing with human wildlife conflict. The answer to the big problem comes in the form of a very small insect. Elephant and bees research located about 20 kilometers from Voy town uses bee to keep away the elephants. Sasa tumekuwa na changamoto hakuna mvua kwa muda mrefu ndio maana wakati wa kiangazi tunaona tulikuwa tunapoteza nyuki wengi sana. Tulikuwa nyuki unajua wanatoka huku wanaenda juu ya mlima ambapo kuna maji kuna kuna chakula wanaama wanatoka kwa mashamba wanaama. Ndio maana tulikuja na hii program ambayo inaitwa colony feeding. Colony feeding ni ile program yetu tunatengeneza water syrup sugar syrup i mean so hiyo sugar syrup unachukua tu maji ya sukari eh, maji ya sukari una mix for example kumzinga moja tunatengeneza one to one ratio ambao unachukua kama ni sukari nusu kilo maji ni nusu lita na unaweka pamoja unakoroka unatengeneza kitu tunaitwa eh, sugar syrup na hiyo ni chakula ya nyuki hiyo chakula ya nyuki ni ile ya kuwasaidia tu wakati wa kiangazi kuwapea nguvu kutafuta chakula kingine kwa sababu usipowalisha wataenda ambao tunasema absconding wanaenda kutafuta makao wengine ambapo kuna chakula sasa hiyo wakati wa kiangazi ndio tunalisha hao nyuki waweze kukaa wakati wa kiangazi kwa sustain wenye tumetoka kulisha saa hii um, tangu hiyo 2020 wako paka saa hii sasa huo mzingo umevunwa safari moja nikaweza kupata 1400 kaweza kunisaidia upande wa shule alafu sasa natumaini natumai sasa vile tumepata hii mafundisho ya kulisha nyuki sasa unajua walikuwa wanatoka kwa sababu ya kiangazi hawapati chakula lakini vile tumeanza kuwa feed kupitia save the elephant hawa ndio wametusupport na hizi mizinga na wanatusupport na sukari ya kuweza kulisha nyuki kwa hivyo tunawashukuru sana kwa sababu sasa hata tukipata mizinga mingine tunatumaini wakati wa kaulazi nini wakati wa jua kali hawataenda sukari tunakorogea tunawekea kwa muda wa siku nne alafu ni siku tatu ya nne tunawekea sasa. Eh. Yaani tunawabembeleza wasije wakatoka. Maana tutama yetu tutataka sisi wakae hapa maana ndio walinzi. Maana kutoka hapo zamani tulikuwa na shida kubwa sana. Lakini kwa siku hizi tulipoweka mzinga au ndovu kidogo tunaona the officers and farmers most recent job involve feeding bees the organization also ensures growth in bees population which has reduced by 17 percent due to climate change bushfires and habitat destruction so tunatumia mizinga bee fences ni ile unatumia mizinga kuzuia ndovu kuingia kwa mashamba ya wakulima so kuna wakulima huku loa sagala eh, katika hizi village tatu ambazo tunasaidia village moja eh, inaitwa Mwakoma nyingine inaitwa Mwambiti ndani ya mwisho inaitwa eh, Kajire so kuna wakulima ambao wako na mizinga so tunatumia tu mizinga kusungu, tunasungusha mizinga kwa mashamba zao ndovu akija kama nimepanda hizi heka mbili wanaharibu upande wa nje upande wa ndani ndovu wakiushao na mzinga hivi wanazunguka round wanaenda zao chakula inakuwa iko salama hapa ndani kwa hivyo mimi Mvui kinyesha na vuna kama kawaida kama watu wengine wenye ndovu wafiki kwao. Kwa hivyo hii mzinga imenisaidia sana. Alafu ya pili pia wakati nyuki wameingia ndani. Hasa huwa tunahesabu mezi mitatu, minne 
tunaanza kuvuna asali kitambo likuwa ndovu akija anaweza azunguka shamba lote vile anataka akoboe mahindi kama ni pojo wa ngoe kama ni mkunde wa ngoe kila mmea na ngoa lakini sasa hii fence imekuja tume fence ndovu akija ile mmea iko ndani ya fence agusi kabisa anapita na kando kando kwa hivyo fence inasaidia sana hata mvua zikaendelea vizuri na hakika nikipanda mavuno yatakuwa makubwa either times 2 ama 3 times kama gunia kama 10 15 kitu kama hiyo The organization also has a school feeding program in which four schools with a population of over 800 people benefit. The schools are within the human wildlife conflict zone. Ile retention ya watoto shuleni imeweza kuonekana. Manake hapo kitambo absenteeism ilikuwa ilikuwa sana. Watoto walikuwa sana sana hawaji shuleni kwa sababu ya njaa. Sasa nyingine unakuta mtoto amekuja shuleni hata ukijaribu kumsomesha first two the first two lessons concentration inaonekana. Lakini after that tunaona mtoto ameanza kusinzia, amelala kwa dawati, akona njaa kabisa. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru baada ya kupata usaidizi from our friends. Population ya shule yetu kuanzia chekechea hadi darasa la nane, ni mia mbili na sabini hivi. Na hao wanafunzi wote wamepata kusaidiwa. Wanafunzi wa chekechea kuna vile wanaletiwa unga wa uji. Kwa hivyo asubuhi hapo saa 4 unapata kikombe cha uji alafu baadaye watakula lunch pamoja na hawa wengine uh, hao watoto sana sana uh, watu wa afya wakija walikuwa wanapatikana na kitu inaitwa malnutrition yani ile afya ya kimwili ilikuwa imedhoofika kwa sababu uh, hawapati ile chakula ambayo ina unastahili wakulima walikuwa wamepanda lakini hawakupata chochote so hiyo ikazidi paka mwezi wa saba na pale ndipo tulipoingilia kama save the elephants kuanzisha hii program ya feeding program kwa sababu wakulima ama wazazi uwezo wao wa kutoa chakula kwa shule ulikuwa umepungua na tukaonelea kwamba kulikuwa na zile absenteeism watoto kosa kwenda kwa shule tulikuwa tunapata hizo reports kutoka kwa head teachers kwamba watoto wanakosa chakula na wengine wanakaa nyumbani so sisi kama organization tukaingilia na tukaanza hiyo mradi wa feeding program sasa hii tuna support shule nne kajire Mwambiti, Kileva na Kirumbi Primary na zote ziko na population na about 850 students As a climate change mitigation measure the farmers feed the bees every after three days with sugar syrup to keep them around the farms Hezron Kimari KTN News Sagala Taita Taveta small but mighty now away from that let's head to like county where climate change politics